Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is Beat the Bookie. Kind of a mixed bag this week between Premier League fixtures and FA Cup fixtures. Um, very difficult to pick out a bet and get some good odds. Um, flying solo this week, Darren's busy. It's 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 Paddy's night, so he's he's caught up. So I said I'd drop a solo because we have matches starting tomorrow evening with uh, Wolves versus Leeds. Going down through the fixtures, obviously Wolves versus Leeds tomorrow Friday. Saturday, Aston Villa versus Arsenal in the league and Middlesbrough versus Chelsea in the FA Cup. Sunday, we have Leicester and Brentford and Tottenham and West Ham in the league and then three FA Cups, Palace versus Everton, Southampton versus Man City and Forest versus Liverpool to round out the weekend. A number of teams have the weekend off uh, because teams are either caught up in the cup or they've also played a number of games already, so we're a bit um, we're a bit light on fixtures, which makes it equally difficult to land a few bets with a few was. As always, we would say head over to YouTube, the upper tier, drop a subscribe and bell notification on that. And if you are going to have a bet, always gamble responsibly. Um, but we'll have a look down through the picks that we did this week. Um, a lot of the guys have been caught up because it's been Paddy's week, so I only have a few bets for you this week. Start with a league accumulator. I went with Wolves to beat Leeds. I went with Villa and Arsenal to be a draw. Leicester to win against Brentford. And Spurs and West Ham a draw. That accumulator will return you 57 to 1. Not too bad at all. Uh, relying on two draws there, Villa and Arsenal and Spurs and West Ham. Two pivotal games in the top four race. We did an FA Cup accumulator as well. Went with Chelsea, Palace, City and Liverpool. More or less all the favourites, although you could flip a coin between Palace and Everton. Um, comes in a four to one, so not great odds. Um, but I suppose if you've 20 on it, you're going to get a ton back. But um, yeah, tough one in the FA Cup this weekend in, in, in terms of um, landing any odds. Uh, I did uh, both teams to score. So um, I did Villa in the, the Villa Arsenal. Uh, Villa Arsenal for both teams to score. Spurs, West Ham and Palace, Everton. Again, 4-1. to one. That, I think, is a tidy bet. Um, Everton showing a little bit of form after a win tonight. Uh, picking up a goal in injury time. They should be boiled by that. Dominic calvert Leon is back as well, so he should start scoring goals. Palace, we know, are scoring a few goals, although they had a nil-nil against Man City. Um, on Monday, they have been picking up a few. Spurs and West Ham, you would expect that to be goals in that. And Villa and Arsenal, you can be guaranteed to be goals in that. So 4-1, to one, not, not a bad bet, but not huge odds. I went with both teams to score and the result, one of Darren's favourite bets when he's on the show. So I went with Wolves to beat Leeds and both teams to score. I went with Leicester to beat Brentford and both teams to score. I went with Palace to beat Everton and both teams to score. And I went with Man City to beat Southampton and both teams to score. That returns 56 to 1. Not a bad bet. Decent value in there. Um, and, you know, for what? One, two, three, four results and both teams to score. Decent odds. I rounded it out then with an anytime goal scorer. And I went with Jimenez off Wolves. I went with Coutinho off Aston Villa. I went with Koi Havertz, the man who's buying in form at the moment for Chelsea. Um, I went with Vardy off Leicester and I went with Kane off Spurs and I went with Jota off Liverpool. I think he'll uh, rotate a little bit there on Sunday evening and I reckon Jota might start even though he didn't have a great run out against Arsenal but this is the FA Cup um, and we shall see. That returns 125 to 1. So it's a tidy little bet, you know, you throw, well, four quid on it you're going to get 504 back you know so it's it's well worth it when you put in a number of multiple goal scorers we have six in there at the moment but Jimenez has been scoring goals Coutinho's on fire for Villa Havertz on fire for Chelsea you would expect Vardy to be picking up goals for Leicester Kane for Spurs um, and Jota after scoring that good goal against Arsenal you would expect him maybe to pick up another goal against Forrest if he starts so there are your picks for this week. A very short version of Beat the Bookie this week. As I said, most of the lads are caught up. They haven't had chances to put bets in and stuff like that. And because it's because we've had so much football this week that we've been covering between the midweeks in the Champions League and in the league. And on top of that, also, we've had uh, Paddy's Day here, uh, St. Patrick's Day. 
Um, it's a little shortened version of Eat the Bookie, and we're banging it tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow morning we'll be dropping, we'll be uh, covering the Champions League draw, uh, both for the quarterfinal stage and the semi final stage. So it'll be interesting to see who Liverpool and Chelsea and Man City um, get in the draw. Um, certainly it'll be interesting, and it'll sort of give us a clearer pathway in terms of our pathway towards the end of the season. Um, but until next time, as I said, drop your picks down in the comments there. Let us know who you're going for this weekend. Tough weekend to bet in the head. Very hard to pick out uh, anything with really, really good odds. A couple of ones there between the league, accumulator, and the Anytime goal scorer. Um, but if you have any other suggestions for bets or stuff like that, drop them in the comments. Let us know what you think. Um, we will follow it throughout the weekend. We will be dropping the Champions League uh, review tomorrow, Champions League draw review tomorrow. And I'll also be doing a Nottingham Forest preview on the Shankly sessions over the weekend. Until next time, folks. Cheers.